Um, this is an interesting one, so let's try it. Uh, write a balanced ionic equation to represent the oxidation of the iodide ion by the permanganate ion and a basic solution to yield molecular iodine and manganese for oxide. So I've taken the liberty of writing the reaction equation up there for you. So if you didn't know what those particular things were, um, I guess get to know what they are. Um, so uh, there, this is a redox reaction and it wants us to balance it in a basic solution. So um, both of those things are important uh, things to know in order to start balancing this reaction. So um, for, remember, for redox reactions, we're going to break it up into its two um, oxidation and reduction reactions, so the two half reactions. So remember, when you're doing that, look for the um, species that are most similar to each other on either side of the reaction arrow. So hopefully you can tell that the permanganate ion and manganese 4 dioxide are the things that are similar to each other. And um, the first of those reactions, OK? And then, of course, what's left is going to be in the other reaction. Iodide goes to molecular iodide form of that. OK, so now, if you wanted to, you could label one of these the uh, reduction and oxidation reaction. Normally, we uh, were saying the things that gained electrons were re being uh, reduced, and the things that lost electrons were being oxidized. So um, eventually, we'll see that. But we can take a preliminary just kind of glance at this and see that the manganese um, atom here has lost two oxygens, right? So that's another way of thinking that thing has been reduced. OK, so we're recording. <laughs> so anyways, so for our preliminary kind of assessment, we should probably be thinking this is the reduction reaction and this is the oxidation reaction. So let's just kind of preliminarily just say R and O label one like that, okay? So let's go ahead and balance this uh, one. So hopefully you see, well, we have both manganese, oxygen, manganese and oxygen in both of them, but they're not the same amount of oxygens, right? So we need to do something to get our oxygens balanced. So in order to do that, do you remember what we had? So we had water, water molecules, okay? So which side would we add them to? To the right-hand side, right? Okay. And how many would we add? Well, remember, water only has one oxygen, so we would need two of them. Does that make sense? Okay. So 2H2. Okay, so now our oxygens are balanced. Do you guys see that? Yeah. Okay. But what do you notice? The H's aren't balanced now, you know? So how do we balance our H's? Well, we're going to have to add H's over on this side, but remember we add them as protons, okay? Or H plus ions, okay? So how many of those H plus ions are we going to need? Four, exactly. So we're going to add four H plus, like that. Okay, so... 4 H's, 4 H's, 1 MN, 1 MN, 4 O's, 4 O's. So that one's balanced, okay? Um, by atoms. But the next thing we need to do is balance the charge, okay? So um, on this side of the reaction, so remember, count up the charges, right? So is there the same amount of charge on this side as this side? So how many pluses do we have here? Four. Four and a minus, right? How many minuses? One. So what's the overall charge here? Minus, uh, plus three. Plus three, right? What's the overall charge over here? Zero. Zero. So is the charges the same on both sides yeah. of the reaction? No. So the only way we, we can balance our charges is to add electrons. And remember, electrons are negatively charged, OK? So which side of the reaction would we be adding those electrons to? This side or this side? The reaction. Yeah, the left side, right? OK, so how many would we add? Three. Three? Yeah. Three electrons like that. Does that make sense? We're recording, so we don't want to be in the recording for that way. OK. <laughs> With your McDonald's. 
<laughs> I like your hair, by the way. That feels nice. Um, okay, so now charges are balanced, atoms are balanced, everything's cool, right? Okay. So, what do we see, right? Electrons are being added to this side. So what does that mean? Gaining electrons, so it's the reduction, right? It's the reduction half reaction. Notice our initial assessment was correct just by looking at the amount of oxygens. Okay, so that's another way to look at those redox reactions. Okay, so that must mean this is the oxidation half reaction. Okay, so first thing we have to do is what? Balance the atoms. Okay, we don't have enough iodines on this side. Okay, so there's no O's to worry about, there's no H's to worry about, so we don't have to do that, but our charges aren't balanced. Do you see that, right? So what are we going to have to do? Add electrons, right? How many of them? Two. 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 Very good. Very good. Two. Two electrons, okay? So, now we would want to add these two half reactions up, but we have to have the same amount of electrons transferred from one side of the half reaction to the other side, okay? Is that the case? Does three electrons equal two electrons? No, of course not, right? So what are we going to have to do? We're going to have to find a common factor for these things, okay? So what would be the common factor for three and two we're recording, so? Six. Six, very good. So what would we have to do to this one? Multiply by two. Multiply by two, and this one? Three. By three, okay? So remember when we do that, okay, we're not just multiplying this one, we gotta multiply everything, because the coefficients are, um, you know, in they're relative to each other, okay? okay? So, multiply 2 times 3, what do we get? 6. six. So I'm just going to do a race, okay, with my finger. You guys, I know you're going to have to rewrite the whole thing. But anyways, uh, what was it, 2 times 4? Eight. 8. 2 times 1? 2. 2. 2 times 1? 2. 2. And 2 times 2? Okay, so what do we have to do to this one? Multiply by 3, right? So 3 times 2, 6. 3 times 1, 3. And 3 times 2, 6. Okay, so now let's go back and see, do we have the same electrons, the amount of electrons being transferred from the reactants to the products? Yes, we do. Okay? So let's go ahead and remember we're, when we're going to add these equations together, right, what's on the left side of the reaction and on the right side of the reaction will cancel out with each other. Okay? Just, just like an algebraic equation. Okay? So what are we going to do? Cancel out our electrons. Like that and like that. Okay? Do you all see anything that's on the reactant side that's the same that's on the product side? anymore. Oftentimes you'll see those. In this one, do you see it? Anything? I don't see anything. Everything. So like, are there any H pluses over here? No. Uh -huh. Are there any uh, permanganate ions over here? Uh-uh. Remember, that's manganese for dioxide, right? That's a different thing than permanganate. What about the iodide anions? Do we see any of those over here? Uh huh. So we're cool. Okay. So now we can add those two reactions up. So eight protons plus two permanganates plus six iodides. Okay. That's everything for the reactants, right? Put our arrow, then we got two manganese four dioxide plus four waters plus three I two. Okay, we're recording, so if you don't mind. Okay, so if uh, it asked us to have balanced it in an acidic solution. 
this would have been the balanced acidic solution equation. Okay? How do I know that? Because, I'm, of course, we remember from our pH uh, uh, chapter, right, that H pluses and OH minuses are the only things that change your pH, right? And H pluses make it acidic, OH minuses, hydroxide ions make it basic, right? Okay? So, if we look here, do we have any hydroxide OH minus ions? I don't see them, okay? But we do have some protons or H plus on, and, uh, cations, right? So, that's like adding an acid to it, or not like adding an acid, it is adding an acid to it. So this, if it had asked us, balance an acidic, Okay, if it would have asked us that, that would have been the uh, answer for that, okay? But it didn't. What did it do? It asked us to balance it in a basic solution, okay? So, we should be wanting some OH anions, like we were just saying, right? Okay, so, in order to balance it in a basic solution, we're going to have to take it another step further, okay? So, I, is everybody okay with me erasing this top portion so I don't have to... Yes. 
this? H2O, right? So how many do we have here? Eight. And over here, four. Okay, so four. I'm going to cancel out there. I'm going to cancel that eight. And it's going to be a four. Okay, so let's just write our final reaction down here. So four H2O plus two permanganate plus six I minus goes to two manganese four dioxide plus three I two plus eight hydroxide. Okay? So let's assess our final reaction. Do we see any hydroxides in here? Yes, there's hydroxides. Okay, so this is going to be a basic solution, right? Do we see any protons? I don't see any. Okay, so we, we're cool. Is everything balanced? And I'm going to do a quick assessment because I know we did everything correctly. Okay, I'm not going to count everything. But this one is the balanced um, reaction equation. Any questions on that? It's a real steppy process, but remember, just follow step by step by step. You should be fine.